What do you think is the most deadly animal on the planet? Maybe alligators, hippos, sharks, snakes, or even spiders. If you added up all other animals that kill humans, you still wouldn't kill as many people as this butcher. Mosquitoes. Technically speaking, the mosquitoes don't do any of the actual killing, but they do act as a vector, transferring diseases among humans. A vector is any animal that transmits a pathogen among organisms. In the case of mosquitoes, they transfer many of the most problematic diseases humans face. They can carry yellow fever, dengue, chikungunya, malaria, West Nile, and more. Up to three-fourths of a billion people can be infected by the various diseases the mosquitoes spread every year. That's about one-tenth of the world. More than two million people die each year as a result. And in years with severe outbreaks, much more than that. By now you probably hate mosquitoes, but we need to understand them just a little bit better before we can hate them all. First off, not many varieties even bite humans. Many suck the blood of other mammals, birds, reptiles, or even the hemolymph of other insects. Also, all the males and some species of mosquitoes don't even drink blood. They survive off the nectar or other sugars from plants. Female mosquitoes often drink a lot of nectar as well. They only drink the blood so they can get the protein for their eggs. Speaking of eggs, the mosquito life cycle is similar to a lot of other insects, and it's actually kind of weird. There's four stages, starting with the eggs. The eggs can be laid pretty much anywhere there is water, because the second larval stage eats microorganisms, which are found literally everywhere. They eat constantly, and usually molt about four times, getting bigger each time. Then they enter a non-eating pupal stage, where their entire body goes through a metamorphosis into a fully developed mosquito. Butterflies aren't the only one, guys. The entire process usually takes about 40 days, depending a lot on the temperature and the food availability. So how do mosquitoes infect people? There are two different ways they can transfer the disease. When a mosquito bites an infected person, the proboscis is inserted into the skin, injecting anticoagulant saliva, and the mosquito sucks the blood into its gut. If the mosquito is still hungry, it may bite another person, and the blood that was left over on the proboscis may be injected into a healthy person. The infected blood in the mosquito may also infect the mosquito with the disease, usually causing little to no harm to the mosquito. Then it makes its way up to the salivary glands, and when it bites the next person, it injects the infected saliva into the healthy person. Mosquitoes cause so many issues, but as the world becomes more developed, uses more mosquito nets and control measures, the diseases they cause should dwindle. But be afraid of the most dangerous animal.